these Ukrainian firefighters have shown us some of the munitions that they've picked up, fired from the Russians. These are all, this massive pile is all Russian munitions that have landed in around Kharkiv and they've picked them up, put them here. Everything from cruise missiles, cluster munitions, everything. G'day legends, I hope you're all well. Before we get into this video, firstly, yes, it's a re-upload, but I got something wrong in the video and I'm not happy with it. So I've chosen to remove the video, make this at the start to clear up something on it wrong. And this is something which I'm happy to be wrong. I am brand new to this like journalist reporting game and unlike doing something live or doing something written like telly or news or the paper or whatever, I am happy to be able to edit and go along um, if I get things wrong. And it's on me and I should have actually done more into this uh, research, into this, I guess, statement I made uh, before releasing it as something. Um, now, the thing that I've got wrong is the cluster munitions. Um, for those who don't know, a cluster munition is like, imagine a shell, like a casing of a missile that explodes uh, before hitting on impact and basically like releases an amount of sub munitions to then impact and explode in a large area. Now, they're banned. They are banned munitions. In most countries that you and me I guess associate and think of when we think about conventions like the Geneva Convention, things like that, you know, the Australian Army, the British Army, Canadian, things like that. And that was the blanket statement I made is this is a banned munition. Same as I would say X chemical weapon is banned or this or that. Where I'm incorrect in this is, well, of course, not every country has signed these treaties. Uh, and my correction in this is Russia has not signed this treaty and neither has Ukraine. Both countries have not signed um, the Oslo uh, Act and the Convention on Cluster Munitions, sorry, my phone went off. <laughs> the Convention on Cluster Munitions, Oslo Convention, entered into force in August 2010. As of February 2021, it has been joined by 123 states. The convention bans the use, production, trade, and stockpiling of cluster bombs munitions. It also requires states parties to provide victim assistance and to clear the contaminated areas. Areas. Um, 11 countries are still believed to be cluster munitions producers, including China, Russia, Vietnam, Vietnam. The United States no longer produces cluster munitions, but retains the option to produce them in the future. Um, now, while all weapons are dangerous, cluster bombs pose a particular threat to civilians for two reasons. They have a wide area of effect and they're consistently left behind a large number of unexploded bomblets, the submunitions from it. The exploded bomblets can remain da dangerous for decades after the, after the end of the conflict. And this is the problem, is these, like landmines, can be indiscriminate and go anywhere. It's not directly targeted. And a lot of the stuff that I was reading out of this convention, because I realised I've got something wrong, was that 40% of these bomblets, the submunitions, whatever you want to call them, up to 40% don't explode on impact. Therefore, okay, yeah, a combatant, a soldier can walk onto it and it kill them, but also a, a kid can, or a civilian, or an animal, or a tractor, or whatever. There's, there was three farmers killed yesterday from a landmine just farming their land. Um, so that's, I guess, the first thing I wanted to get out of the way that I was wrong, um, and I'm happy to be wrong, and I am happy to suck it up and then go into deeper research, and I shouldn't have made that statement there. The second one I copped a lot about was, I guess, the propaganda. This pile of um, ordnance was, I, people are saying it was staged by the Ukrainians. Now, I can see people saying that because there has been... Um, little things come out as not true as I guess the ghost of Kiev fighter pilot people I guess debunked that um, and the um, of course yes they said Russian warship go fuck yourself but then those guys weren't killed they were captured as prisoners of war and then um, whatever like there has been elements of that but it's not my position I guess to speak on that if I have no evidence either way of this but what I will tell you is 
this wasn't like a military facility this wasn't anywhere near that it was you know i went to a fire station that the guy wanted to show us some of their ladder training and one of the guys there was like oh you guys should see the munitions now the ses is the state emergency services in ukraine uh their fire services but they're also the eod the explosive ordnance disposal so they you know the unexploded ordnance or any ordnance they pick up goes through the ses being the fire brigade there and i'd have i had no inkling at all that this was sus at all and i still don't think it was at all people are saying well why are these casings there well things like submunitions and shells and stuff leave behind a lot of stuff and you've got to remember that and I have no statistics on this, of particularly of Russian weapons, but it's very common for something to be unexploded ordnance. Pretty much every time I've ever thrown, you know, a company of people have thrown grenades, almost every time someone will throw a grenade and it won't go off. Um, like that's a common thing within armed services of these these weapons of anything like that. Uh, what we call a blind, a, a UXO, unexploded ordnance, is not uncommon. Um, I, when I was in Lviv last time and the four missiles hit the airfield, it was rumoured that seven had been fired, but only four had gone off. So I guess that's where the casings come from. And I think the argument of that they were placed there to suck in guys like me to then push Ukrainian propaganda, I think is just, I think it holds no merit. Um, at least people think I'm on a payroll or something. I'm just not. I'm just seeing and reporting on what I can. And you got to understand that I can't go to the Russian side and report there either. I'm not allowed to. I'm allowed to be here and see and report on what I see. And if and if I did pick up on that I believe this was bullshit, I'd report on that as well. But in Kharkiv, and there's going to be more footage come out of this, the um, suburb to the northeast, northwest where I was around that area, was bombed to shit. Um, and there was still you know, unexploded ordnance on the ground. Now, it, it's still there. And, you know, I, I, I completely believe that these, you know, firefighters are, you know, picking this stuff up, disarming it to the best of their ability and then moving it to a stockpile somewhere. I have no inkling that there was any bullshit fancy work in this. I, and I don't believe it at all. Anyway, I'm sorry I've ranted that this, this video has tripled in length. I'm, I apologize. Um, but have a great day, enjoy the video, and any problems like this in the future, I'm happy to address it. I'm happy to be wrong and I'm new to this, and I guess it's just a learning curve of where I need to fact find and do whatever. But thank you very much and enjoy. Cheers. All cluster. Yeah. Not allowed to use them. No. Not allowed to use them. Yeah, not allowed to use cluster munitions and these blue ones, the ballistic yeah. missile. That's not probably not okay either. No. Holy shit. And outpost of Turkey. Holy Present for Russian. Wow. Oh wow. Even I've seen people deny that Russia's using cluster munitions. Yeah, the evidence here is a 20, 30 metre pile and, and they're five metres high. Half of them are all cluster munitions. So. I'd say that's fairly good evidence that Russia is using cluster munitions. This blue one here, which is a ballistic missile, is controlled by someone um, as they come in. They're saying it's the only one they've actually found which has some sort of like uh, high-end electronic control by a person. It's quite a confronting scene. This is just what they've got from this area brought back. There is way more than this. There's still ones in the city. They're still land and they're still landing all day. All day we've been shelled and heard munitions coming in. So continues to happen and this pile will continue to grow.
you are you need to so okay, you, you can uh, add <laughs> some your packet on your... Yeah. yeah.